I love the Oregon coast. There is nothing quite as beautiful as the waves crashing up against the rocks lining the jagged shoreline. Watching the spray spouting up with its rainbow mist gives one a feeling of being closer to God. There's the way the sun seamlessly shines down on this rock while keeping darkness on that one. For me, it's a spiritual connection that brings me to the ocean. A connection I have never felt in any other place. I've often wondered why we're drawn to the ocean. One thought is that we were born in embryonic fluids and our body is made up of mostly water. Now, however, I think that maybe there is more to it. Maybe, and just maybe, it's the magnificence of watching the sun burn a dark orange into a golden horizon. Maybe it's the seagulls that converge on you when you think you have a tasty morsel to offer them. Or could it be it's just as simple as the beauty of the sea itself? It calms you, soothing. Driving along the Oregon coast, you are inundated with a profusion of things to observe and ponder. The tree graveyard is filled with majestic old trees that have been brought to their final resting place in the sand by the water that once gave them life. There are golden weeds growing up around them like flowers left graveside by some long lost lover. I am constantly amazed by the rocks standing above the white capped waves created by volcanoes millions of years ago. One such rock has a small tree growing from the top of it. Its life is sustained by the spray of the ocean feeding and nurturing it with the collision of each wave against the rock. People gather at the coast for so many different reasons. Families come to build fires from wood discarded by a relentless sea of leftover firewood soaked in memories while letting their dogs run up and down the beach chasing after a ball. Others come to celebrate a special occasion because they've been coming for 30 years and it's now a tradition steeped in love. There is a calming effect the ocean has on us we may never be able to explain. And maybe we don't need to. Like a train rushing through the gorge, or like a constellation of clouds hanging in the sky that creates a beauty on the land below, or the world rushing by us as we drive, there is no explaining why the beauty of nature calms our very soul. Reminiscent of all of nature's gifts from God, we need to look at and appreciate the bounteous beauty that has been bestowed upon us and just smile. Not wonder why we're drawn to it. Because just maybe we are the fortunate ones to live here for such a short time enjoying the visual splendor that surrounds us each and every day. Maybe we should just say a small prayer of thanks for what God has given us.